It is a huge AMOLED screen, both an in-screen fingerprint sensor and the ability to do face detection, a stylus that acts like a magic wand, and it comes in aura blue, or like we like to call it, fancy iFixit blue. It's the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and it's landed on our teardown table. The last time we tore down a Note, it scored a four to 10 on our repairability scale. So how will the Note 10 Plus score? There's only one way to find out, and that's to tear it down. Now let's get this thing open. If you guessed we'd need some heat, gentle prying, and some opening pick action to get the rear panel off the Note 10 Plus, you get a prize. The opening procedure is pretty much the same as most recent Galaxy phones, as is the internal layout. We've got two mid-frames and a center panel to remove, which are all thankfully held in place by standard Phillips double zero screws. With our first real look at the internals of this phone, we find a somewhat radical change. The motherboard lives solely at the top of the device, which we also saw in the Google Pixel. Moving the motherboard to the top of the device allows for a wider battery, but it also makes the connection between the motherboard and the daughterboard a lot trickier, since you have to get past a ton of interconnect cables to access the battery. Disconnecting the cables along the bottom of the motherboard and removing the front-facing camera allows us to lift the motherboard right up and out. There are five cameras to be found in the Note 10 Plus, including a 16 megapixel ultra-wide camera, a 12 megapixel wide-angle camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera, a depth vision camera, and lastly, we have the 10 megapixel selfie camera. One more thing about the motherboard, just like recent high-end iPhones, it's stacked. After separating these boards, we can see the 12 gigabytes of Samsung-made LPDDR4X RAM layered over the Snapdragon 855 system on chip and the 256 gigabytes of also Samsung-made EUFS 3.0 flash storage. The USB-C connector is soldered to a daughter board, but the board itself is small and there isn't much more on it than the connector itself, so repairs shouldn't be too much of an issue. Next, we have the battery, which is securely glued in a well. Using a good amount of isopropyl alcohol, some patience, and a suction cup, we can lift the battery up and out. In the past, we've used picks or a plastic card to try to pry the battery up, but since the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor is directly below the battery, we'll stick with this method even though it takes a little bit longer. This battery weighs in at 59.1 grams, which is almost five grams heavier than the Note 9's battery, and it's rated at 16.56 watt hours. More heat and prying gets this giant display off. This is a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED Infinity O display with a resolution of 3040 by 1440 and a pixel density of 498 pixels per inch. On the back of the display, you can see the in-display ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, which uses machine learning to distinguish real from fake fingerprints. With our Galaxy Note 10 Plus fully disassembled, it's time to think about repairability. The Note 10 Plus scored a three out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, equally sized Philip fasteners means you only need to bring one driver for repairs. Most of the components are modular and can be independently replaced, but no more headphone jack means double duty for the USB-C port. On the downside, any repair you try is gonna start with painstakingly ungluing the fragile rear glass cover. Replacing the glued down battery is tougher than ever, especially with so many board interconnect cables to work around. And lastly, replacing the display requires a complete teardown or replacing half the phone. If you're still craving more Note 10 Plus content, head on over to our site to check out the full teardown of the 5G version, including a look inside the new S Pen. 